All right, Shalom Akim, Shalom Israel. First off, I want to give all praises unto Yahweh, which is the Heavenly Father, in the name of Yahweh Shai, which is his only begotten son. Right, I want to give double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth to rule well. All right, I'm going I'm, I'm to be getting into the lies of Esau, man, you know. Because our people have forgotten what Esau has done to them. And now they want to say that Esau is, is, is a peacemaker. That Esau is a good person. Alright, so I'm going to start off with Isaiah 29 and 13. Wherefore, the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth, and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. All right. So this is actually what Yahweh would say in the future. You know, because when you go into that word Lord in verse 13, it's actually talking about Adanya, Adanya, which means my Lord. All right. Which is Yahweh Because when you go down to verse 15, and it says, "Woe unto them that seek deep the hide, uh, deep to hide their counsel from Yahweh." All right, because Yahweh is is the all Almighty Father. All right, the Father, ahead of everybody, the head of every uh, the head of everybody. So lock you, and the head of us, the Israelites, is Yahweh Shai. All right, and then Yahweh. All right, so we go in in rank Yahweh first, and Yahweh Shai. All right, it's a chain of command, you know. So let me read verse 13 again. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men. All right, so it says, Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among this people, even a marvelous work and a wonder. For this wisdom of their wise men shall perish, and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hid. All right. So this is talking about Yahawashai in front of the hypocrites, which is our people, and also these Edomites, which say that they love Yahbashim Yahawashai, when in reality they don't, man. They're just hiding what they're saying. All right. So Mark 7, verse 6, he answered, which is Yahawashai. All right, Yahawashai answered after, you know, getting on to the Pharisees. Yahawashai is the one that answered, all right? So Mark 7 and 6, he answered and said unto them, Well, hath Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Howbeit in vain do they worship me, teaching of for doctrines the commandments of men. You see, they want to teach you commandments of men, it's what Esau is trying to do. Make you pay all that money. You know, you still have to give tithes and all that stuff. You still have to follow the commandments. But Esau is using it only to his advantage. To whatever uh, uh, brings him value. That's what he wants to do. He's not going after Yah Bashim Yahweshah. He's going after your money. Same thing with all these other preachers. Which are, are, are fake preachers. Fake teachers. Alright. That, that's what they're teaching. Fake, fake, um, they're fake teachers. You know, so we go from there to describe what Esau is really like, man. You know, what he what he really came to do, and what we're supposed to do as followers of Yah Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, this is Psalm fifty-five and twenty-one. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. All right, they were smooth, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. All right, he's here to kill you. He's not here to make you feel better. You know, like the brothers were saying the other day, can't remember what camp it was, but they were saying if Esau found the power to make himself immortal, you think he would give it to you, Jakes? Hell no, man. He doesn't like you, Jakes. You, Jakes, like him, but he doesn't like you. All right, just because he speaks like you guys want him to. All right, what does it say in, uh, was it Jeremiah or, it's like it was Isaiah 30. 
This is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of Yahweh. You won't hear what the Most High has to say because that's that's a responsibility. It's responsibility that you have to do. And you don't want that. All right. Which say to the seers, see not. All right. You don't want the, the seers, which are the prophets, to see things to come. All right. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. You don't want to hear that shit. You want to hear what Esau wants to say. All right. That's what you want to hear. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceits. You want deceits. You want to be deceived, man. All right. Because that's the same thing that Psalms is talking about. All right. The words of his, uh, of his mouth were smoother than butter, which is Esau. But war was in his heart. Right. What, what did he do when the conquistadors came over here in the Americas? When the British came over here in the Americas. All right. War was in his heart, man. He doesn't care about you, Jake's, which pertains of you, Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. His word was softer than oil. Yet were they drawn swords. He doesn't like you guys, man. And you guys need to understand that. Just because they seem like they're nice. Doesn't mean that they are nice. All right. This is Jeremiah 6 and 14. They have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly. Slightly have they healed you guys. And that's why you guys are in that trance now. Because they slightly healed you. Saying peace, peace when there is no peace. All right, what's happening right now with, with, with these men in blue shooting, shooting Jake's, shooting Jake's out here, man. The brother from uh, Hawaii, uh, GMS Hawaii, Yahawada, he just recently made a, a, a video yesterday, I believe, that I was watching about the cops saying to the Latino boys, um, welcome to the white man's world. All right, welcome to the white man's world. Because they know they're in charge right now, man. They know they're in charge. All right. And there's no peace. But they want to cure your, your peace of mind. So you can be okay with what they're doing. When the preachers pe uh, pre uh, when the preachers say peace, peace. But there's no peace. All right. When the, were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? All right. When you became a, a lesbian... Uh, lesbianism, the, the faggots, you know, being gay, eating pork. Nay, they were not all ashamed. Neither could they blush. See how it says, nay, they were not all ashamed. Neither could they blush. All right. Some of us are waking up to this truth, man. The truth of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. The truth that comes out, out, out of these prophets from GMS, Great Millstone, these elders, it ain't it ain't for for their own satisfaction, man. Satisfaction, Salakia, for their own satisfaction. All right, this is to, this is for the body, all right, for the brothers, the elect. Neither could they blush; therefore, they shall fall among them that fall. All right, so our people are also gonna fall with you, Edomites, you heathen. At the time that I visit them, they shall be cast down, saith Yahweh. All right. What does it say in Revelations about the red dragon that was cast down? That devil, that old serpent, which is Esau. He was cast down and he came down with great fury and wrath because he knew that he only had a little bit of time left, man. All right. And I'm going to end it with this one right here. This is Job 20. Verse 10. I'm going to start off at verse 10. His children seek to please the poor. You see, Esau's children are always looking to see how can we make them think that we're peaceful. Donating money to the poor, making commercials, making their face seen. And his hands shall restore their goods. All right. Making it seem like they're oh, see, we're, we're giving you back some of your land. Peace, peace. His bones are full of sin of his youth. All right. His bones are full of sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. All right. What does it say? Daughter Babylon, a uh, virgin daughter of, of Babylon, virgin daughter of the Chaldeans, sit down in the dust. This place is getting ready to be destroyed, man. That's where you're set up for destruction. The wickedness be sweet in his mouth. 
though he hide it under his tongue, all right? He wants to call you the N-word. He wants to call you by, the, by these bywords, man. The Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans. He wants to call you by these bywords so bad, but he knows that right now he's pushing peace, peace. So he hides it. You see, though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth. He still has those words for that time that he gets really pissed off. He'll call you by a byword. You whip back, you spick. All right. And that, that's exactly who Esau is, man. And to prove that, look what we have here, 1969. It'll tell you right here on the, on the, on the left side of March of 67. All right, 1967. Look at that little girl. Look what she's wearing. What did Job say? All right. What do the scriptures say about from their youth, man? From their youth, they're like that. All right. See what that little girl's doing. She has, She's wearing that, that white robe, KKK. All right. And that mom is so happy with that, with, with what she's wearing. And right next to him, it says, no Negroes. All right, which it doesn't say Indians. And I wonder why, man, because they were Negroes, too. All right. They were dark skin. They didn't like them. No Negroes, Mexicans or Puerto Ricans. All right. Puerto Ricans, man. You Tainos. All right. You guys are all the children of Israel, man. These people don't like you. These Edomites don't like you, man. And you guys are so damn blind that you don't believe it. What just happened last month? This was just last month, man. All right. It says Melissa McKinney's is an activist out of St. Louis and works with Mike Brown's family. She lost her own son last week to a lynching. They strung her child up in a tree. This is November 19, 1993 was when he was born to October 17, which was last month. Of 2018, man. They don't like you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? They don't like you guys. But you guys want to hear what they got to say. Because their words are smooth as butter. And what you want to hear? Smooth lies, man. They're smooth criminals, all right? Now, with that, I want to say Shalom Akim. You know, I hope that was edifying, you know, to whoever hears it. To know... Who these Edomites really are and who these two thirds are, man. All right. We shouldn't be seen, you know, uh, being uh, fellowshipping in the sense that we want to be what they want to do. All right. Like the brother always says, like the brother Yai Batiza always says, you know, you can only be in this world for so long and you got to you got to pull out, man. Go back to the scriptures, go back with the body, go back with the brothers. And he brought out a, a, a perfect uh, similitude or a simile, which uh, he said it's like Neo. Neo was the chosen one in the Matrix with Morpheus and Trinity. All right. He was the chosen one and they were outside. They were in the truth. And they can only come back in for a short amount of time, get whoever they can get and then go back out. All right. So with that, I want to say Shalom Makim. Shalom Israel, and as always, giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachakwadash, all right, and double honor to the